I'm going to show you how to use Movie Plus just quickly to uh, open media files, place your media files so you can uh, do picture in picture, and then how to save or export your movie. First of all, when you open the Starter Edition, it will look like this. You're going to have the splash screen. It's kind of good because over here under Learn, you have some tutorials. So let's click that Closed. Also remember this is a free starter edition so it's going to be limited. Wherever you see things that have a kind of pink, those are things you cannot do. So in this case you cannot narrate your video and you cannot design a menu for a DVD. Under tools you can capture from your camcorder or camera, but you cannot rip a CD, write a file to a camcorder, etc, etc. But, you know, it's not too bad in terms of, you know, what you can do with it. Okay, you can add extra audio tracks and video tracks, so that's that's a good deal. Oh, yeah, hold on. My father just came home. Elderly old men. Okay, we want to add some media here. So, click on the media bar. Click on import media and click on import. And it's going to take you over here and open. In this case, it opened pictures because that's where I was before. Just click on video. I have this on Windows 7. And I'm going to just, uh, let's pick out some videos that I've already converted. I have uh, HD. And let's see. Let's choose this one. And I don't know. Something that will show up good. This one. Hold down Control and click on the second one. Click on open and they open. What you will notice is that when you hover the cursor over the video, it plays in place. So if you're kind of wondering, gee, is this the one I want? Okay. Now, what you're going to do is click and drag your background video to the video track. And above that, you'll see an overlay track. Click and drag your second video to the overlay track. Now let's, for something fun, let's just click in here and click on insert video track. Let's put two pictures in here. Let's go back to import media, import. Okay, we've got our converted videos. What else can we put in here? Uh, let's just use that little guy. Okay. And we're going to put him in there. Now we've got three videos lined up to use. Each of them has an audio track. So it's one of the first things you have to do, of course, is which audio track am I going to use? I'm going to use the one for the background video. Maybe you want to use one for one of the other videos. Um, and you can also use, you do the same thing with still images. I just happen to be adding videos. Uh, so right click in the audio track. Delete selection only. Right click in the audio track. Delete selection only. And that way only one of the videos, this video on the bottom in the video track, has that. Now, we've got one short video. If you have a photograph, it's the same at the beginning and at the end. So you can make it longer, increase the duration, the time it displays, or make it shorter. It doesn't make any difference. With videos, you can't do that because the beginning of the video and the end of the video aren't exactly the same. So I'm going to make both of these videos the same length. Click and drag as my background video. But when I play them, only the video I click on... Okay, only one video displays. How do I make them picture in picture? Really easily. In the upper left corner of each video clip, you will see a little downward facing arrow. And over here, you will also see these downward facing arrows. These are attributes. You can click on either one, they're the exact same thing. I'll click on this one and click on transform. And you will see. A grid appear with some handles and watch you can move these handles around and you can make your picture smaller you can click and drag it to the middle you can click and drag it to the upper left or the lower right wherever you'd like to put it 
Now, let's click on this one, and to close it up, click the upward arrow over here next to the tack. Click on Transform, and now we can transform this one. We can make it smaller. Looky here, and now we've got two different pictures and pictures. Now, what if you want to go back and work on this one? The first one, this one in the lower right tank. Oh, I want it a little bigger. Come over here to the video track, which is the overlay track. Click on it. Open attributes. Click on transform again. You'll notice it's highlighted. And then you'll notice now it has the handles on it. And you can open it. Make it a little bigger. There we are. Okay. I want to make this one a little bigger. Transform. Okay. Now what if I want either one of these to kind of fade in? I want just the picture of my the blooming tree the, with the purple flowers in the background. Okay. Go back to Attributes. Click on Transform. On second thought, click on Opacity. And you'll notice you have these little balls here. And at the beginning, I want my picture. And you notice when you move the ball down the line, it's we move it to the top, it's there. We move it to the bottom, it's gone. And then at the end of the video clip, come over here and I'll put my bar there. Okay, we want opacity. Okay, double click or click and insert. Okay, you have to hit this line right here. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, now you got another little ball there. Move it all the way up here. Or when you want the picture to appear. Okay, so we've got one here. Oh my goodness, there we go. There we are. So watch now when I play it. Slowly appears. Okay. Now I can also, when it turns into a plus sign, put it one there, one here, and I can make least make it slowly fade away. So now watch the picture in the lower. Watch the picture in the lower right corner as I play the video. Watch over here. It appears. Stays there for a while. And then slowly fades. That's called keyframing. And we can do this with the other picture too, but I'm just doing this to demonstrate. So you can have your logo or your picture in picture or your photos. Uh, whatever you'd like, you can have them appear and then disappear. And to change, if you want them to appear faster, you just click and drag the little ball over. If you want them to disappear faster, click and drag the little ball like that. And then watch. Oops, disappears faster. Okay. I said this is very, very easy to use. Now, once you've got all your pictures and pictures where you want them, your a logo, a photograph, uh, you know, you might have five of them in here on a background and that's the other thing too for the I, I used a background video you can put a back background photograph in here and then put other other photographs on top of it it doesn't have to be videos okay you want to save it as a movie go to file export movie and then click on file and if you want to put it back into Windows Movie Maker, you're going to use the Windows Media Auto File, which I do anyway. There are a couple of other MP4s and etc. QuickTime. And then click Next. And what you're going to find when you first do this, I've already changed mine, is if you look over in the summary, it'll give you the size. And here's the size here because, it, like I said, this is um, HD Lite, which is 720p. But over here under frame rate, it will say 25.0 and in parentheses PAL. If you're in the United States, you have to change PAL to NTSC. And how do you do that? Click on Customize. And right down here where it says frame rate, you get some choices. 
You do not want 25 Cal. You want 29.970 NTSC. And then you can click OK. Now you get to pick the codec. And I just stayed with um, Windows Media Video 9. There are a couple of other ones here, Advanced Profile, etc. But, you know, play it safe. And then just click OK. And then you get to choose a name for your template, which I already have. I just called it. I'll show you where it is here in a minute. Okay, cancel this. Under custom, I called mine US video. So that way if I ever open this up again and the frame rate says 25 PAL, I can just click on my US video custom and it automatically changes it. Okay, you also can choose render quality. I always choose high. There is a best, which is gives you the warning that it's very slow. Okay. So I always pick high. It, it tells me my file is going to be 8.99 megabytes. And then if you just click finish, now I don't particularly want to turn this into a video, but if you click finish, you get the save as dialog, give your movie a name, be sure to find out where it's being saved to, read up, most of us forget to look up here and then we lose <laughs> the movies we've saved. Save as file type, Windows Media, WMV file, and then just click save. And you just wait for that little bar to move over and your movie is saved. Okay, that's all there is to doing picture in picture. It's very, very easy with Sarif's uh, Movie Plus Starter Edition. You've, uh, I've also showed you some keyframing. You can also do chroma keying.